G'day guys, and welcome to another episode of Inside Fishing. Today we're fishing for trout with spin gear. We've got both Nick and James going to show us a secret location. Let's see if we can hunt a few down. So Nick, do you want to give us a bit of a rundown on the gear that we're using to spin for trout? Sure Bryce. As you can see we've been fishing in a very tiny little creek so I'm using a, a duck rod, 6 foot 10, 820 DSI. It's got a nice soft tip, it's still got meat in the butt section so you can turn fish. It's got the soft tip so you can steer fish and uh, not pull leaders and pull hooks out of the fish. Okay. What, what sort of line diameter or pound would you be using? I recommend for this sort of fishing, 3 pound unit tika with a uh, four pound litre. You can even fish fluorite straight through for really clear water. But we've got a bit of colour in the water today so we can get away with a bit of spray. Yeah. Okay. see in the background a waterfall, there's a deep hole at the base of it and we couldn't get our little crankbaits in there so Nick's just thrown on a plastic and come up with the goods. Usually when you fish a pool like this you can, and you catch one fish, it can spill the end of the fishing in the pool. But seeing there's a log laying across here, I'm thinking that this fish will probably just go back and sulk in against the bank there. So I'm going to move up here and have a couple more casts further up and see if I can't catch a couple more. Okay, with this tight skinny little water, it's not always about long distance casts, sometimes a little underhanded cast, such as into that little pocket over there, can produce the fish. Little rainbow. Part of the fun of the skinny little water. Fish to settle down. It's a nice little rainbow, it's got these little paw marks on him. Uh, this is one of the small fish for the system. There are fish up to four pound and a few six pounders, but um, today it's very hard going, so we'll take what we can get. So James, I noticed we're targeting structure within this pool using the little crankbaits at about a medium, a medium pace. Is there any, um, any chance we can increase the catch? Well, there is. What you can do is, when you first come to the back of a pool like this, is start shorter and fan your cast around the pool, aim at all the structure even right up the middle of the pool. Okay, yep. And just keep the medium pace going and follow it all the way back around again. So maybe 10, 15 casts in the pool. Yep. And then move on. Yeah, okay. So you don't spend all day no, fishing no, in the one pool, move around a bit. Yep, absolutely. This is the same pool Nick just had a cast in. And I'm just going to try from another angle and see if we can get him on there. Nick, another beautiful little rainbow. Um, we pulled him out of the moving water again. We found that most of the fish from today have been in moving water rather than the still. Is there any reason for it? Uh, it could be one of two things. It could be just a matter of food chain. The bigger fish sit at the head of the pool, get the food first. It could be oxygen levels. 
Or it could be just the right water temperature mixing with the air. Yes. Well, I finally got myself a fish, thanks to Nick and James, and the heavens are about to open up, so we better get out of here. Thanks for watching Inside Fishing.